Number four, a guard for Hunter Peck with John White. The coach of Leaf Academy is Marco Marcus. The coach of Hillfield Tech is Nick Marinello.
Man, how you feeling?
Troy Webster. His first person of the team, second. Chauncey Gilliam shooters.
first person. And the team is going John Crawford is shooting through.
big guy's getting changed. So just give him a couple minutes. I uh, told him we could do it without Dana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> the wire there. <laughs> uh, they mic me for um, MSG. We did it without the big guy. the big guy. Is that the first time for you? No, they've got me a couple times. This season? Yeah. This third time this season? Uh, maybe fifth time this season. Are they doing some kind of show? No, 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 no. That language. 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 Credits. Credits. I wish they would do that. Now you're right. Yeah, you're right. They can make a movie. Yeah, okay. I just want to get her out of here. Take 21. That's a good one. story. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. Yeah, really Bujano, got the MVP. I think we, we could have made a case for uh, Rayshon. Yes, but I guess it's I got, I, I, I'm going to go on record saying that was my vote. Okay. Rayshon, me too. Please stop. <laughs> Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Huh? Yeah, I cut that fast break. Did, fake right? song, Jenny. Uh, I think you, you stole did. it. My, my legs is but I can't even want to send one of those guys to go get him. I, I don't yeah. know. He was the left foot. I was like, oh. Mm -hmm. Are we saying that? We were profoundly unhappy. Yeah, I mean, I just I thought that particular game, you know, in looking back on it, I was probably a little bit harder on my guys than needed to be, but whatever we did has worked all year. Um, these guys have done a phenomenal job of preparing. Like every day is the most important day. Uh, every game is the most important game. And, and, and it showed the way we played. Um, I've been involved with other teams that that game was the most important. We would look ahead or look behind. And I was concerned with our approach to that game. Uh, and we made some adjustments. We had a great day of practice uh, coming off that game the following day. Actually, uh, Deshaun twisted his ankle, and I was concerned about that. Um, but you know what? We've, we're fortunate enough that we have kids step up. And I think these guys are a consummate team, and they understand their roles. We have guys that understand their roles on our team. It's very, very important. What was the objective today, Coach, as far as beating them? Uh, the objective, I mean, our <coughs> scout was to keep their guards in front, limit their penetration, uh, be patient offensively. Um, and, and we shot the ball very, very well in the first half. And, and Kasim was an absolute beast on the boards. He really did a great job of, of uh, cleaning stuff up because he didn't really get that much off initial sets. Uh, I knew it was going to be a game that was going to be a fast-paced game, and I think that if, I thought that if we were disciplined, um, we would come out on top. You know, and, and again, Deshaun getting into foul trouble and not being on the floor. You know, Rashawn Dwight is the glue to our team, and I've said that all year, uh, all year long. And he just uh, just does everything. He keeps his cool. When I don't keep my cool, he still keeps his cool, and he, he runs this team. There's no doubt about it. He is he is the glue to this program. Were you surprised about how easy you guys took control of this game earlier? Well, yeah, I was I was a little surprised easy, but it just seemed like we 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 run a mission, and this team is on a mission. And you know, again, every game is the, that we play is the most important game, and and I thought that things came easy to us because we shared the ball and we played like a team, and everyone got involved early. Is that mission? Is that mission why the celebration might have been a little bit subdued? You know what? It, it's funny with this group. We haven't celebrated all year about anything. I don't know if it's me or them or it's the bigger picture or the small picture, whatever it is. But I mean, this is business as usual. These guys uh, are all business and workmanlike, and it's it's uh, a credit to the maturity of these this group. You know, you don't want to get caught up in. I'm probably the most emotional guy, uh, you know, in, during a game. And these guys do a good job of keeping me grounded. And uh, you know, we talk about being no one's bigger than the program, and they understand that. And, it, and they've and they've been successful because of it, you know. And I think the way last year ended um, was very very disappointing. And we keep on reflecting back to that. I mean, you look at these guys right now; they're not satisfied, and it's amazing. It's amazing. I am very pleased with what we've accomplished so far. Um, you know, everything ahead of us is going to be great. But I, this this the county championship and the state championship is is very very important.
What about you guys on the glass coach? 50 to 27 rebound. Was that another thing we emphasized? <coughs> you know what? Yeah, it was emphasized. And, and Kasim and Dante and our guards, we have, you know, our rebounding uh, was, was very good from our guard spots. And, and, and Todd did a phenomenal job coming off the bench. He's a, he's a great athlete. He's a big time athlete. And he still hasn't gotten it yet. And we, when he understands how good he can really be, he's going to be dangerous. Mm -hmm. That's not something that generally is. The way you beat people, though, is it? I mean, it's it, you, you held. They didn't get second shots. They had no second chance uh, points in the first half. Well, that was one of our no, you know, no keys to the game. Where don't give them second chance opportunities. I didn't think that they ran any offensive sets that were intricate that we had to defend. Sometimes they're the most dangerous teams to guard against because everything's one-on-one -on -one mm -hmm. ISO, and sometimes their offenses throw it up against a glass. They have some guys who can go get it, now go get it and put it back. And we did a great job of, of not giving them opportunities. I was very, very pleased with our zone and our man-to-man -man offense. We mixed it up. and these, these guys are so basketball literate and smart that they know how to follow a scout, and they respect the fact that how hard Coaching staff works on scouting games and in preparation, and they know that that's important to our program. Mm -hmm. How about you guys talk about the, the rebounding job you guys did today, in terms of keeping them off the, off the glass? You know? uh, yeah, I bet, like, for me, I'm not going to foul trouble. I barely played, but I definitely like the way Todd and Kai has really rebounded. Like, <coughs> they didn't give him a second chance, and that's the one thing we stressed in the scouting report that they're a good second, second chance team, like, for rebounds. So, like the guards really helped down in the rebounding because that's what we usually like lack at rebounding mm -hmm. during the season like because the other team's guards are rebound but not today though our guards everybody rebounded five guys crashed but last so everybody got it done mm -hmm. i was happy what about you ray shane you had 11 rebounds is that about as good a game on the glass as you've had no uh, actually it's not i believe <laughs> i had more rebounds in another game but that, that's one of my strong things, I feel. And I feel these two guys can't be the only ones that rebound, so I try and give any my, any help that I can to them. Mm -hmm. Kasim, did you, Kass, did you realize early on that pretty much you would be able to have your way down low because you seemed real comfortable on the box real early in the game? Not really. I, I usually play better against bigger guys on the floor. I'm not used to playing against little guys, so when I play against a bigger guy, I take advantage of them because usually they're not as talented as me. So I just keep playing my game. <laughs> How did the little guy mess you up? Huh? How did the little guy mess you up then? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I think what happens with him is, you know, for Kasim to go out and guard a kid that's six foot three, you know, and go out and guard on the perimeter, that's not reality of what he's going to do in his future. And I just want to say how proud I am of him, where he was two years ago, where he was a year ago, and where he is now, that he's qualified, that he's academically sound. And this kind of, you know, for him to be MVP uh, is very, very special to me because we've worked so hard to get him to this point. And, um, you know, he might not be able to enjoy it, but I'm going to enjoy his success more than I'm going to enjoy the team's success because I know how hard we've worked at it, and I think the guys pull for him too because it hasn't been easy, and it's been documented. And, and, you know, I think he has an opportunity that if he does what he's supposed to do to have a great college career and to have maybe even make money playing the game someday, um, but he still has a lot left of his high school career to have a really special season. And I thought that if we can get 75 to 80 percent of consistency out of Kasim uh, on a daily basis in practice, on a daily basis in games, that we'd be very, very talented. And, and because he's done what he's supposed to do, we've been able to do what we're supposed to do. <laughs> Rayshon, did that pressure bother you any bringing the ball up court? Um, I don't think it really did. But then at some point in the game, I'll, pre I'll, I'll press myself. like. I was too worried about their press, but it really wasn't strong. It wasn't a strong press, really. But I just get a little over anxious about it and make it a little bad decisions. Bad decisions. Yeah, and that took <laughs> two passes sometimes. <laughs> yeah, what? Okay. Did they do anything, Rishon, that you, that you weren't prepared for? Was there anything that came unexpected? What they did? Um, not really. In the scouting report, we we got everything and. We, we went over in practice, so it wasn't not too much that we uh, that I didn't that I wasn't prepared for, whatever. So, no, not really. But you talked about Rayshon's play all season long, as far as him being the glue. How do you feel with him being in charge of the group that'll come in next year 
you know, do you feel good about that? They, they Absolutely, I would. I would trust him with. You know, he's he can he can coach the game. He's a coach on the floor. I at times found myself asking him about what he. You know, is he comfortable doing this? Or are we comfortable doing that? You know, and again, I, I think another big part of this whole picture is that we don't. There's no egos in this program, from my coaching staff to my players. Uh, you know, and I think that we're a very, very humble group, and I think it shows when we play that we know that we need each other. It's 15, 15 players and four coaches that have a good time doing what we're, what we're doing and have, are passionate about what we're doing, and he's, he's great. I mean, he can, I know that if I couldn't make practice or the four coaches couldn't make practice, he would be able to run the team and practice, and I know that they would hold themselves accountable the same as if we were there. You know, he's a very, very basketballer. He's extremely great great young man and he's a great person and a great kid. Thanks coach. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for showing. We got on tape. You spent a lot of time <laughs> seeing what those guys were doing unfortunately today uh, with the foul trouble. Talk about the way where Sean ran the team today with you off the floor. Uh, there's nothing I can say. It's as usual. <laughs> like, when I'm out there he does it. So like for me to just sit back and even I'm not playing because like when I'm in the game and and he comes out it's like you know all right, that's my other side. Like, I can't really help, like, bring the ball up or help the team do anything without him on the court. Like, he's, like, my god in a way. So, like, for me to, like, be sitting down and watch him play and see him still hold the team up and everything, that was, like, you know, like, you kind of gives it, not, not give me hope for next year, but for them, they have a good chance for next year because mm -hmm. they have good hope. <laughs> 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 these guys have been playing together for a long time, and obviously they're they're very very close. And you know, and Wesley is Rashawn's cousin, so they're very very close. And it's it's a really really close group of kids. It's funny because I asked Kasim at the end of the game. I said, which one of those guys do you think deserves uh, to get in the game? The four guys on the bench, and he said Shamari. And they really they 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 really care about each other. It's and it's uh, the chemistry is great. And I don't know if if. If I'll ever experience this, or they'll ever experience this kind of bond that we have with one another in the rest of their life, or in another another situation. Kaz, with you guys losing last year when you did university, how important was it to, <coughs> to take this team all the way? Um, we were we were ranked pretty high last year, so to lose to university was like it was real bad because we didn't get to go to our, our full potential and show everybody the um, team that we really were. So when we were leaving the um, season kind of early, we was coming in ready for um, a long, longer season, trying to go all the way to the top like we did like two years back. Would anything less than the TSC title be not reaching your full potential? Do you think? How about you guys? Yeah, that's same the, thing. Yeah, that's, that's the same thing. Yeah. That's our main goal right there. Yeah. Number one team, man. State number one team in Charleston. Shit, anything less. Do you guys feel you, you deserve the top seed? Yeah. But you earned it. <laughs> yeah. We worked hard for it. Every yeah, practice. We worked hard. We worked hard. hardest. We had some practices where, you know, we like days on court. Coach get on us. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had some practices. Don't be telling the secret. Yeah. That's the idea. Yeah, but at the end of the day, though, we work hard, we do what we're supposed to do. So, yeah, I think we deserve that. We're hard for all four years, and his him all three years. They they might, you know, say differently, but I've actually really enjoyed coaching this group. This is because uh, they're just they're a pleasure to be around, and you know, we, we we get caught up in a lot of things, and we don't seize the moment or enjoy the moment. And and I've really enjoyed after some of the things that we had gone through as a group last year. I've really enjoyed being around. It's the same group of guys, you know, and and, and going away to South Carolina. I think we. We bonded very, very well. We were able to travel and stay and do some things, and I think that was kind of like a really good jump start for us. Uh, but it's it's a pleasure to be around these guys. It really, really is, and they're a special group of young men. Let's remove remove the basketball from it. They're you know again from qualifying to their academic progress to just people skills. They're 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 great. They're a great group of kids. The interaction with my family and my wife and you know my friends and people who come to the game, the administration who comes to the game, they're great. They're great. And and it's special. And it's special. So I think we have to take a step back sometimes and understand what we're doing and appreciate, you know, the gifts that we have in, in front of us.
Jersey. Jersey. <laughs> you told me to come here and get Rod's jersey. <laughs> right. I'm going to look at it. Right. Uh, <laughs> what happened the other night uh, in the uh, semifinal? Coach was not happy with the way the team played. Did that help? Did what he said and what you guys worked on in practice, did that help motivate you guys for today's game? Yeah, well, we wasn't happy with ourselves because um, we came out real soft thinking that they weren't going to be as good as we um, as they was predicted to be. So we really didn't take them real serious. So like they showed us that they, they was um ready for us or almost ready for us. So we had to step it up in the second half and that's what we came out and did. Mm -hmm. So we came the next day in practice and we worked real hard to get here to the point where we're at right now. We did a really good job after the game. When I addressed the guys, I was very, very calm and, and we talked about our approach and then coming into practice, I just said, I need you, I need you to give me an hour and be focused for an hour and everyone work hard. And they, they, they've they done everything that I've had. I can't, can't ask them to do anything they didn't do. They've done every single thing, everything. And we've come a long way as, as, as a group, as a family. Thank you, fellas. Much, much. Thank you.